Ronda Rousey's memoir, Our Fight, is set to be released early next month, and the former WWE star has not held back about Vince McMahon. In her book, Rousey wrote, pay-per-views are held in major cities like New York, Los Angeles and Philadelphia, as well as now twice a year in Saudi Arabia, a nation that restricts the rights of women in a way that I'm certain Vince McMahon wishes he could. Rousey also penned how McMahon, who she describes as Emperor Palpatine, played a real-world pro-wrestling version of Monopoly by buying up all of his competition. She wrote, It's hard sometimes to know where the evil, unethical, slimeball character of Vince McMahon played out for the cameras ends, and the actual, questionably ethical, many times sued and multiple times accused of sexual misconduct Vince McMahon begins. That blurred line between character and reality is a recurring theme within the WWE universe. Rousey also accused Bruce Pritchard of being Vince's avatar, noting McMahon would still have a say in WWE's business if Pritchard was still employed. She also claimed that McMahon was still involved with WWE via Pritchard when he initially retired from the promotion in the summer of 2022. She would also detail what it was like for female performers throughout the majority of the company's history, long before she ever made the jump from MMA to pro wrestling, writing that WWE bills itself as a sports entertainment organisation and just like in the mainstream entertainment industry, there was by all accounts a casting couch culture where men backstage in powerful positions pressured female talent for sexual favours in return for airtime. Another interview has now emerged and gained some attention as Rousey calls the WWE an absolute sh show and tells Bruce Pritchard and John Laurinaitis to go F themselves. Take a look. What? Okay, so the first fan here wants to talk about beef. They want to know if beef between fighters is real or done for publicity. And if it's real, is there someone in the professional world you have a beef with and why? Um, in MMA, I originally just started them for publicity, but um, those other bitches did not get the memo, and so they became personal. And in WWE, it, it's all fake. I love them. Um, except for uh, Bruce Pritchard and John Laurinaitis. They can go fuck themselves. And uh, another thing that people don't know. Oh, God. Some of the behind the scenes stuff. Behind the scenes, oh yeah, how much of an absolute shit show it is at the WWE because, you know, I don't have, they, they can't hold a sword over my head and like hold me hostage with my own career and uh, I don't need anything from them and I don't intend on going back so I can actually say everything that I think and feel where everybody else that is still uh, held captive by their organization cannot. You really pull the curtain back in this when you talk about uh, professional wrestling, specifically your time in WWE. Was there any hesitation about what you share, what went out there? Uh, I think people will be a little bit surprised by just how much you, uh, you know, lay it all out there. Uh, I mean, the only thing that really held me back was the number of words I was allowed to have in this book. <laughs> we were contractually held to 9,000 words and I was going to talk so much more shit, especially about John Laurinaitis and Bruce Pritchard. <laughs> But uh, our editor said, you know, uh, we had to like streamline everything and not take like a detour on like the fuck these old bastards quest. Um, so, I mean, there, there was a lot more to it, um, but I had to basically get down to the, the meat and potatoes in this. But, you know, if anyone wants to ask me about some fucked up bus situations, I'll, I'll fill them in. <laughs>